Find the set of all real values of x for which 2x minus 5 over x minus 3 is less than or equal to 5 over 2. Now, with this type of inequality, what you should do is get it into a straight line by getting rid of this denominator, getting rid of x minus 3. Now, we could do that by multiplying both sides by x minus 3, but the problem with that is that x minus 3 could be positive or negative depending on what x is. For some values of x, x minus 3 will be positive, so that when we multiply both sides by x minus 3, we will not affect this inequality sign. But for other values of x, x minus 3 will be negative, so when we do multiply both sides by x minus 3, we need to change the direction of this inequality. To get around that, we multiply both sides by x minus 3 squared, because x minus 3 squared is always positive or equal to 0. It could equal 0. For example, if x is 3, then we have 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 squared is 0. But for all other values of x, x minus 3 squared will be greater than 0. So I've explained this in other videos, so I'm just repeating myself here really. We multiply both sides by x minus 3 squared. So I'm just going to show this in red. And we do the same on the other side, of course. And we do not affect the direction of this inequality. This inequality will remain less than, because we're multiplying both sides by something positive. x minus 3 in this denominator will cancel with one of these x minus 3s. So we're left with x minus 3 times 2x minus 5 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we have 5 over 2 into x minus 3 squared. x minus 3 squared is x squared minus 6x plus 9. We can see that we're going to end up with a quadratic inequality. We have an x squared term on the left hand side and an x squared term on the right hand side. So x squared comes into this, it's a quadratic inequality, we get it into the standard form of a quadratic inequality, which means we want 0 on one side. Multiplying out the left hand side, we get 2x squared minus 11x plus 15. What I've also done here is multiplied both sides of this inequality by 2. Now 2 is a positive number, so we don't affect the direction of this inequality. Why do we multiply by 2? Well, we want to cancel this 2 here. So we multiply the left-hand side by 2. When we multiply the right-hand side by 2, the 2's cancel. So we have a 2 here on the left-hand side. And we have 5 into x squared minus 6x plus 9 on the right-hand side. So on the right hand side we get 5x squared minus 30x plus 5 nines are 45. So we, I'm going to put 0 on the right hand side. So everything on the right hand side is going to be brought over. So in here we get plus 4x squared minus 5x squared. That's minus 1x squared. We get minus 22x plus 30x. Um, that's plus 8x. And we have plus 30 and then we have the minus 45 that's minus 15, less than or equal to 0. So all I've done is taken this here and subtracted it from both sides. So we, get in, we can get our inequality into the standard form of a quadratic inequality. We want 0 on one side. Now normally we don't like a negative x squared term. It's easier to solve if we just make everything positive. So we multiply all this by minus 1. So we get x squared minus 8x plus 15 minus 1 times 0 is 0, but since we're multiplying both sides by minus 1, minus 1 is a negative number, we change this direction from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to. So we multiply both sides by minus 1. It's just more convenient to have the x squared term positive. I've covered how to solve quadratic inequalities in other videos. What we do is look at the equation y equals x squared minus 8x plus 15. Or, well, we, we will be considering the graph of this function. But we just solve the equation x squared minus 8x plus 15 equals 0. We just take the equal part, the equals part of this inequality. So we solve this quadratic equation. And uh, the solutions of this quadratic equation 
will help us get the solutions of the quadratic inequality. Fortunately, this quadratic equation has factors x minus 5 times x minus 3, put each factor equal to 0, we get solutions x equals 5 or x equals 3. Now we look at the graph of y equals x squared minus 8x plus 15. We know that when x equals 3 or x equals 5, y will equal 0. Get y equals 0, so we know the graph must cross the x-axis at, at these two roots. We also know that the graph has the shape of a parabola because it's a quadratic so we're dealing with either an upright parabola or an inverted parabola. We know it's an upright parabola because the x squared term is positive. We just normally deliberately make it positive when we're solving the quadratic, quadratic inequality. So we always have an upright parabola that passes through x equals 3 and x equals 5. Now, we are interested in points on this graph whose y values are greater than or equal to zero. So what points on this graph have y values that are greater than or equal to zero? So now we're going to solve this quadratic inequality. Well, these are the y values. Sorry, these are the points on the graph whose y values are greater than or equal to zero. They're equal to zero for x equals three and x equals five, so we include these two points. And this blue part of the graph has points whose y values are positive. So these are points above the x-axis. So we're interested in the x values of these blue points, if you like. The x values corresponding, the x values of all these points on the graph are all the values of x that are less than or equal to 3 and all the values of x that are greater than or equal to 5. So when x is less than or equal to 3, y will be greater than or equal to 0. When x is greater than or equal to 5, y will also be greater than or equal to 0. So these two regions satisfy our original inequality. So as long as x is less than or equal to 3, then 2x minus 5 over x minus 3 will be less than or equal to 5 halves. And if x is greater than or equal to 5, then 2x minus 5 over x minus 3 will be less than or equal to 5 over 2. If x lies between 3 and 5, then 2x minus 5 over x minus 3 will actually be greater than 5 halves. So these two regions are uh, make up the solution to this inequality.